Hello, Arnold is rendering hair, quite a lot of hairs here on this torus. And when it's finished, I show you why the hair is shaped in that way. It's different. It's a regular torus, really, uh, where it's been planted on. But uh, you see the hair grows differently on the right hand side. It's shorter there than on the left. On the left, it's more straight. It's more bent uh, on the right hand side. The scene looks like this, pretty similar, really. And the interesting shape here was achieved by just two guides and the guides are the orange little strokes which you see when you have a closer look here that's one of them and um, I'll show you how to get there in a second just go to xgen here and uh, close the eye this is opening the eye so to say and uh, this is closing the eye so you only see the guides here so the guides are very powerful for example if I go to if I select this one and uh, right mouse click guide control points and I move the control points high up like this and move them over here and then I go to this one as well uh, again I get a much higher hair uh, so I show you how to get there new scene well you see the xgen line out here the attribute edit so to say of xgen uh, if you don't see this um, you just go here this tab is xgen and when you click here you get this view here let's give an example the attribute editor sits here uh, we create a torus under polygon modeling we scale it up a little bit the scaling is quite important for hair but we don't care about this in this tutorial I did other tutorials about X-Gen hair pre in previous days um, now we want to go to uh, X-Gen see X-Gen we go to this tab here and click here and then we're back here so we have a torus in the scene and um, we create a new description it, XGen always starts with this, so we create a new description for this object here. And it's a little bit tricky about naming, and uh, if we would go further, dive deeper into XGen, we would certainly want to name this Taurus description instead of description 14. And this collection, instead of collection 9, we would call it Taurus collection, uh, because uh, XGen creates a file structure within your current project. Uh, which is um, which is used when you deal with different settings of hair uh, so it's quite important just keep this in mind when you uh, dig deeper into XGen what kind of primitives are made by this description splines for long hair that's what we want create uh, generate the primitives randomly across the surface that's just fine the only thing we're going to change is control the primitives by placing and shaping guides because this tutorial is about guides uh, the other alternative would be using attributes controlled by expressions which is uh, sounding maybe a little bit intimidating but uh, it's quite easy as well and very powerful but we are going to place two guides and nothing else here and you see already here in the icon the representation of what I showed you previously so we ge generate this we create this and when we go closer to the torus now we see little dots right here on each of the faces uh, which are potential places for guides now the next thing is we create a guide and uh, here in the descriptions actually it's called collection number nine in the description number 14 that's what we should have changed actually we see this icon here it creates a new guide so this plus stroke sort of icon is the one we need to click with this object selected and now we see the cursor changing to a brush and the brush can be uh, the brush size can be changed by pressing and holding the key B on the keyboard so um, bigger 
with a with a mouse button, of course. So I can make it bigger. This doesn't matter really because I don't want to paint here. I just want to place things here. And I just picked this one, for example. And there's the first guide here. And I go to the, well, not exactly opposite side, but somewhere here. So I have another guide. Uh, when I want to see the hair now growing with these straight pointing up guides, uh, I click here. And then I see the hair. The hair is not very dense because the density sits right here. So we can increase this by typing in 50. So we have a very dense hair structure now. And let's go back to 1. And uh, the length can be controlled here. And the width can be controlled here. So if we want to have it thinner, like here. And uh, the ramp is uh, important too, because when you change this like this, the hair starts to grow from a very thin um, uh, diameter to a thicker diameter. Uh, in nature, the opposite is the case, I guess. So you need to do it like this. <laughs> this is not really... <laughs> okay, sorry for that. So this is quite interesting because it has little dots now at the, at the top because of that one here. If we don't want to see the hair, we click here. We see only the guides and now we're going to work with the guides. Right mouse click and guide control points. The guides have I think five control points. That's this number, I guess. And uh, we can select them and change the shape of the guides. So let's change this quite drastically. And move this down so we have very short hair, but with a strong S shape sort of uh, curvature. Now um, we go back to our hair representation you remember that's the eye here so you have the different shapes now uh, here on this side you have the the s shape which slightly fades towards the middle and which gets straighter and straighter the more we approach this one and that's basically all i wanted to show you the guides control the curvature of the hair and um, if we want to have it longer we go for example, we select these two here and we move them up. You see the hair does not follow. It does not update. Move it a little bit up to this side. Select this one. Move it up to like to this side. Let's move it outside more or less. Away from the torus, so to say. And we need to click here to update the scene. And now we have long hair stretching into this direction here pretty straight whereas we have short hair with that curly s shape on the other side if you want to render it it renders perfectly all right in arnold and i wish you a very good day bye bye Thank you.